My name is Maria Keller and I'm a digital artist from Mexico. On this tutorial, I'll teach you how to create your own illustration that represents the autumn in Adobe Illustrator. So let's begin. The first thing we're going to do is create a new document. If you don't know how to create one, I'm going to teach you very quickly how. You're going to go to File, New, and make sure that you select the document that is 800 by 600 pixels and you have an RGB as your color mode. I'm using the latest version of Illustrator CC, so maybe the options look a, look a little bit different, but all these options are going to be the same in any version of Adobe Illustrator. So the first thing we're going to do is create a rectangle. So to do that, we're going to go to our Tools panel and find the Rectangle tool by clicking there or just press the shortcut M. Then we're going to create a rectangle by inputting here the values. So we're going to make a rectangle that has a width of 105, by a height of 225. And this is going to be our rectangle. Now, if you go to your move tool, you can go here to these uh, little handles that allow you to round your corner. So just click on them and drag them to the center. Around there, or you could also go here on the top and input the value here. So I'm, that's what I'm going to do and make it 15 pixels. This is going to be our main shape. So what we're going to do is I just zoom in by pressing Ctrl plus, go to my pen tool or press P, swap the stroke and the fill and select a darker color, this darker brown color. Now I'm going to make a point by pressing on my pen tool there. Then while pressing shift, I'm going to create a straight line by making another point. I'm going to go to my selection tool. So you see, and I'm going to go to my stroke window. If you don't see that window, just go to window stroke and let's change the weight to something bigger. So maybe two it's okay. And I'm going to go back to my pen tool by pressing P or selecting it and make another line. Remember, just make a point and press shift to make it. Now, if I want to break the line, so I press the P on my keyboard again to select again the pen tool. Let's keep making straight lines just like this. And I'm going to go to my tools panel, click on the rectangle and find the ellipse tool or press the shortcut L. Now we're going to make an ellipse. Just like this. I'm going to go to Object, Path, Offset Path, and a window like this is going to appear. In here, you can offset by, for example, 5 pixels. You can have a little preview if you want. So maybe less. 4 is OK. And press OK. Now you can select that one, go Object, Offset Path, and repeat the same process. So now we have these little ellipses. I'm going to move them right here. Now while I click and drag, I'm going to press Alt to create a copy and place it here. I'm going to scale it, up, scale it up a little bit and just go to my eyedropper tool and select one of the lines so I can copy that same stroke. I'm going to select everything by selecting one and then going here to select similar. And then go Object, Group. And now that I have that, what I can do is go to Cut by pressing Ctrl X or going there. Then go to the Draw Inside mode and you can see how a dotted line has appeared. Go to Object, sorry, Edit, Paste in Place or Ctrl Shift B. And you can see how it has been masked. To go outside this, all you have to do is go Draw Normal or double click outside the shape that we just created. So let's uh, go to our ellipse tool. And we're going to create a, an ellipse that it has a, a width of 10 by a height of 15. I'm going to press OK. I'm going to move it. This is going to be one of my eyes. While dragging it, I'm going to press Alt and Shift to make a copy and also move it in the same direction. I'm going to move the eyes and group them by going to Object Group and then select both of them, sorry, both objects. Go here on the top 
and you can see that I have this window open here. If you don't have it, you can go to Window Align. And now you can see that I can press Horizontal Align Center and it has aligned them to the artboard because that's the option that it has selected. That is fine for now. I'm going to zoom out a little bit, but I'm zooming by pressing Ctrl minus or Ctrl plus. I'm going to go to my pen tool by pressing P or selecting it, make a point, then make another point and drag a little bit so you create a curve. Change the stroke to something like three. And let's give it a rounded cap. Remember to center it by aligning it. Now the next thing I want to do is the branches. So I'm going to go to my pen tool. I'm going to select another brown that I had already selected and change the weight to my stroke to 10, 10 points. Let's make a point here, another one here, another one here, and let's make the cap straight so it looks more like a branch. I'm going to press the P again to create an independent line. I'm going to keep doing this process around my tree. Okay, so now that I have them, all I have to do is select them. You can select one and then just go to select similar. Let's right click, arrange, send to back. And now we're going to create some leaves. So we're going to use the leaves tool. Click on that one and make an ellipse. It has a width of 16 by a height of 30. And I'm going to swap the stroke and the fill. Let's uh, change our color to this yellow that I had already selected. Go to our direct selection tool or press A on our keyboard. Select all the points that are on the top and the bottom and go here to corners and convert selected anchor points to corner. That way you can get a leaf shape. Now let's go to our pen tool and create a small line. It's going to be like that. Swap the stroke and the fill and change the color to this dark brown. I'm going to change the weight of my stroke to 3. And that's it. Now let's adjust it a little bit with our direct selection tool. Everything that moves together should be grouped, so just remember to select them and go object group or press the, con the shortcut Ctrl G. I'm going to press Alt while I drag it to make a copy and I'm going to rotate it a little bit. Right click, arrange, send to back. Remember to send it to back. I'm going to go again, drag it and press Alt to make a copy and move these leaves around around my branches. Now I'm going to delete that one because I don't need it. And I'm going to group it and then horizontal line center so that everything is aligned. I'm going to go to my rectangle tool and make a rectangle that is 300 pixels by 18. I'm going to move it, I'm sorry, I'm going to round the corners just with my direct selection tool. And I'm going to fill it with this color that I had already selected. Make sure that you align it, horizontal line center, and place it right here on the bottom. Now I'm going to go inside this group by double clicking on it and I want a leaf so I'm just going to control C to copy. I'm going to control B to paste it outside the group. I'm just going to put one here while dragging. I'm going to press Alt to make a copy. And then just remember to right click, arrange, send to back. Let's select everything and group it. 
and I'm gonna go horizontal line center and vertical align and we're almost done but we need to add some words to make it more autumn so a good website that I would recommend you is that you select the font that you like you can go to Google fonts you can click there and have a variety of fonts right there and try finding something that you like so for example I like this shadows into light font so you just download it install it on your computer and then go there to your type tool or press T click now let's type Autumn. Let's select it, center it, just align it. And I'm going to change the font to that one that I just downloaded, shadows into light, and change the size to 36. So just move it a little bit to the bottom and change the color to a darker brown. Let's group everything and again, making sure that I'm aligning to the canvas, horizontal and vertical align center. And we're done. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.